Hi everyone, in this video we'll learn about formatted string literals, also known as f-strings within Python. Before we get started, let's review the package we'll use, which is NumPy. f-strings allow values of Python expressions inside a string by prefixing the string with lowercase or uppercase f and writing expressions within curly braces. An optional format specifier can follow the expression. The first example I want to go through is comparing the format function built into strings against f-strings. Here I have a Python dictionary containing some information for a professor, including their name, degree, university they went to, and their current tenure. Now I want to call the format function. I am going to print out the string, and within the string we can see we have these two curly braces, which will print out our expression. At the end of the string we are going to call dot .format, then we need to pass in the two expressions. We are going to call the Python dictionary, we are going to pass in name, that's the key to get the name for the professor, then we're going to call for the degree. Let's run this. And we can see that we were able to print out the sentence. In order to use this format function, we needed to pass in a lot of information. We'll see that when we use f-strings, it's much more concise. Let's go down and let's put in our f-string. We can see that f-string is far more concise than the format function. We have our string, and at the very beginning, we put f in order to use the f-string. Then within the curly braces, we put in the expression that we want to print out. Since we have our single quotes at the very beginning and end of our string, we need to use double quotations in order for this to run. Let's run this. And we can see we were able to print out the same information in a more concise manner. We can also run operations within f-strings. Here I am saying in 2023, one year from now, the professor will celebrate his X anniversary. We can see that within our dictionary, it's nine years, but what we're doing is within this expression, we are doing plus one, which will run the operation of addition. Let's run this. And we can see that we were able to execute an operation within an F string. We can also call F strings within a for loop. Here I have a dictionary of far more professors. We have their names, degrees, universities, and tenures like we did for the single professor below. What I want to do is I want to iterate over these and print out the name, degree, university, and tenure for each of these professors. What I'll do is I am going to call a for loop. I'm going to say for name, degree, university, and tenure, and I'm going to use the zip function in zip then I have to get all of these keys within the zip function. I've input all the keys. Next, what I want to say is I'm going to print and then I am going to put in F and I want to make sure that I print out all of these expressions here. Then the for loop will iterate through each of these. It will print out the name of the professor, their degree, then what university, and then their tenure, and then there's going to be a line break separating all of that. Let's run this. And we can see that we were able to print out all of this information. Moving on, we'll take a look at format specifiers. For example, if I want to round to the nearest whole number, I can use a format specifier. Let's take a look at the average tenure for all the professors using NumPy's average function. We can see that the average tenure is 6.875 years, but I don't want to print it out like this. I just want to round to seven, which is the nearest whole number. We can do that using a format specifier. For the expression, we have the average. Then at the very end, the way that we can round up is we are going to call a colon period zero F. And what this specifies is I want to round up to the nearest whole number. Let's run this. We can also round to the nearest decimal point. So if I want to go one decimal point out, I can do one F, but I'll keep it at a whole number. We can also do this for percentages. Let's say I want to get the proportion of chemical engineers within the data set. What I did here is we're saying for the professors, their degrees, we're counting all of the professors with a PhD in chemical engineering and we're dividing it by the total number of professors. Then what I want to do is print out this proportion in percentage format. We're going to print out the variable and within the F string, we are going to specify 0% at the very end of it. And this will round to the nearest percent for the proportion. Let's run this. 
and we can see 20% of the professors studied chemical engineering. We can also create variables within a string. Let's say I want to create some arbitrary ID, so I'll call this professor ID. And it's just going to create a arbitrary number. We'll use enumeration for and use the ID as just the index position. So what I'm going to do is for IDX in range length of the professors, and we're going to go with the names. And we're going to use F strings to save this information. There are different ways to do this. You could do this just with list comprehension but we'll use F strings just to illustrate how we can create variables with F strings. And what we are going to append is a string and this string is going to be dynamic. So the first professor ID is going to be professor ID zero. Then the next one will be professor ID one, professor ID two. Then what I want to do is save this professor ID to, a, to our dictionary and we'll print it out. If we go down, we can see that we created the professor IDs corresponding to each of the professors. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. I included additional learning within the references and additional learning section, as well as references that I used to create this notebook. If you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, and Odyssey. Thanks everyone for watching and happy coding.